from the filing, because this could be right out of a political thriller. Quote, the nation would have no recourse to deter a president from inciting his supporters during a State of the Union address to kill opposing lawmakers to ensure that he remains in office unlawfully. Okay, so the claim from Jack Smith, and they just seem to be making more and more insane claims. They can just get away with yeah. saying anything, I guess. Well, what, what, how is that? How does that claim actually work? Like, what, how, what is his backing that's saying that the nation has no recourse? Uh, the nation could be like, no. <laughs> we just can't help ourselves, man. Yeah. The, I'm, the claim doesn't make any sense, and I'm not sure that that is exactly the claim. I mean, what's special about the State of the Union message anyways? Right. You could go, you could, you could, he could make this statement at any time. Right. At a rally in Arkansas. What? Well, it's just because, like, he could activate everybody. It's like activating. It's just, it just shows how much these people buy into their own BS. It sounds like it's, it's almost intentional because he knows that, I mean, of course it's intentional, but, but like, it's, it's like intended for like the media to make clips of right. it just like they're doing now. Right. Like, and it's I, like not I, even going to have any legal weight. Well, no, there, I'm not talking about any legal weight. I am. That's why I was saying at the beginning that, like, I, I think this is part of building a case to the to the public, or at least like seeding the idea over time, more and more and more that these people have to be dealt with. We need to do something with this unsavory group, you know. And I, I think that we are coming to a point where they will start rounding up Trump supporters. But I thought I thought it was the conservatives that were being rounded up. Are they scared that they're going to get rounded up? in retaliation to that right i know that's <laughs> exactly that's what it seems like right <laughs> but they're trying to right and they're just trying to scare the public but think about that like what they're doing they're they're basically trying to make half the country almost murderously paranoid of the other side how often are you seeing people make comments like this is this a one-off because i'm not used no. to seeing it well first of all jack smith let's I mean, he's not just anybody, right? And this I don't is a know. legal filing. Okay, but okay, but the, he's a person with uh, perceived status and uh, power, you know, right now, and um, that is a legal filing. It's pretty official to put something like that into the record, and so, it, and it's not a one-off. I mean, it, it just kind of goes hand in hand with this narrative we've seen over and over, really, since Trump got into office that. Him and his supporters are domestic threat, white supremacist, semi-fascist, all these sorts of things, right? And I, I think that is being done for a reason. It's not just I mean, rhetoric, the, right? It's division. You have divide and conquer type stuff. Yeah, you're definitely creating extremes that are warring against each other. But how much traction do you think this is going to take? How much? How much will that come? I mean, it's got your attention. It. it you know, it, it, it got your heckled well, up. Well, think about the juries oh. that are... Well, think about the juries that are going to be deciding in these cases. Not just Trump, but, like, anybody, really, associated. That Let's just yeah. say... Let's say they do start rounding up Trump supporters for some reason. Maybe, you know, they made a... Me like, people are getting prison time for memes, so who knows what they'll concoct, right? And and they'll have some... They'll The media will be right there, make you know, building up these sort of... Already, these pre-justifications for that happening when it does. That's what I'm concerned about. Yeah, I would I would agree with you on that actually because it does it does uh, it is up to the jury, right? In most cases, when it comes to this kind of stuff, and these people are just people that give their opinions on right what they think of the of the lawsuit. So if they do like keep scaring the people consistently, especially in a blue state, and they hire a jury, then the chances are they're going to vote against Trump, no matter even if they're completely all wrong. Or anybody. I mean, you're just, you're just. I think I feel like more and more they're shaving people off who just don't want to deal with it. You know, more and more people are just like, whatever. I'll just yeah. go with the flow. Oh, it's I, way easier. Oh, it's, well, I'm not going to be associated with these people, and it's going to be like the, you know, the people, the I guess strongest willed or hardest hardest headed people that are going to be left over. Yeah, I would agree with you on that too. There are people that are either center or center right or anything that they just at a certain point. I even hear a lot in person that they just don't want to deal with it. It's like, man, sometimes I just don't want to deal with the baggage. It's like, well, that's exactly what they want. Right. They don't want you to deal with the baggage. So, yeah, I would say it's 
Yeah, there's also the uh, the people that believe where there's smoke, there's fire. Therefore, just, you know, show enough smoke and they're eventually going to believe there's fire. Right.